This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, not so prosecutor's path, no mo. No mo? Because uh, we don't have a prosecutor's badge, and Edgeworth just got arrested, so. Yes, he did. Because uh, yeah. the guy with the, gla the goggles was like. Boy, he's the best. <laughs> yeah, because he, he was going back and forth between, like, chain smoker yelling at us and, like, <laughs> the dudes. <laughs> the chains. No. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we're on the end, part one of Forgotten Tournament. Oh, and I okay. Bet we, I bet we can do the first part of the end in this one episode. Because if memory serves, it's pretty short. Ooh, ooh, ooh look at that. April 6th, detention center um, holding cell. We're in Knightley's room. Yeah, I think we are. Uh, watch out for the blood stains under, and, the, and the hole <laughs> and underneath the, hole. the bed. They haven't filled it in yet. <laughs> filled the hole in. <laughs> this is the second time I've been in this cell. Phoenix were, uh, Phoenix Worth? Seen it, Phoenix Worth. <laughs> Hedgeworth, Ace Attorney. Prison break. All of my evidence has been taken from me. Except the Yadagrasu's badge. They let me keep that. And all my notes on the various people who I've met. <laughs> the only thing I have left is Kay's Yadagrasu's badge. Uh, I'm worried about Kay. She'll be fine. Is she alright? Kay's headstrong. She's chill. The culprit is me. I remember looking down at the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth, it was me! The culprit was me all along! It was me all along, rips off mask. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Weird guard! Ooh, who should be? Uh, I voiced the last one, so oh, you. Oh, uh. You have a visitor. Please hurry out. A visitor? Who could it be? Someone by the name of Dick Gumshoe. Will you turn him down? No. It'll be hard to face him, though. Also, you might want to lay off the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> April 6th, detention center visitor's room. Wait there. That was like Batman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait here. Wait here. I've got to go. Gotham needs me. Hmm. He's not Batman. He's not going to stay and keep watch. <laughs> Smoking break. Pardon me? Is it me? It's, Pardon me! It's Zelda. Freaking Zelda! Judge Courtney! Hush! Please, have a seat. I do love her theme song. I do too. Why are you here? I was told the detective had come. If I didn't instruct them to tell you that, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. I can't think of anything <sighs> she'd need from me at this point. All that chain smoker voice. <laughs> I should try to figure out what she wants. The visit. Your visitation rights have been restricted to begin with. It's as if I'm some monstrous criminal. I suppose my credibility has hit rock bottom. What do you think Judge Courtney does for fun? I don't think she does anything for fun. I think she lives and breathes her job. That That's so sad, though. Like, she's got to have something fun to do. Like, well, she and Jill used to go out for Saturday night drinks. Maybe. <laughs> but then Jill died. I mean, died. clearly she does her hair. Nobody's born with that. <laughs> So I, I guess she does that. She's got the lightning She's got bolts some on style. in the front. Lightning She's bolts. Stands. I mm, I don't know. I just feel like I want like Courtney to have something fun that she can. She's like, you know what? Like, she has more personality. <laughs> My one true passion is catering. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say bowling. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> can you imagine her bowling? I could imagine her bowling. Cause it's it's something that <laughs> she coaches the boys basketball team. <laughs> The junior the high, the junior high voice team. basketball team. That's how she met Sebastian. <laughs> She's in basketball. Basketball, I've heard, was the best sport. sport. <laughs> He's terrible at it. Yeah, she's like, I have to get him out of this before he embarrasses himself in school. <laughs> Would you like to become a prosecutor? Okay. <laughs> okay. My dad's a prosecutor, or was. <laughs> He's this chain smoker dude now. Yeah. But of course, your friends have, fa have fared. I thought it was faced. Your friends have fared a little better, though. That lawyer and that girl were both quite worked up. Mr. Shields and Emma. Oh, I thought he was talking about Phoenix and Maya. I thought he was talking about, <laughs> uh, uh, he did, um, Francisca. Oh. Oh, yeah, Hadn't I forgot about Francisca. Interpol. She's hanging out with Interpol. Yep. When I last saw them, they were giving one of the guards quite an earful. What? You don't mean. Be grateful. 
The goddess of law has been quite busy. They were spared punishment. It certainly seems like you have plenty of time for small talk. Oh yes, Prosecutor Von Karma is presently continuing the investigation. You were worried about them, right? I guess she saw right through me. Judge Horton's What's your goal? goal? Bowling! She <laughs> wants to <laughs> tell restart me, the Tell me about alley. the goal you got in the last soccer game. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's cut to the chase. Exactly what are you planning? I am not planning anything. There is merely a question I wish to ask. <laughs> and a carrot cake I want to give you. Wink. There's like a file inside. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me? Yes, of course. Who else is here? Objectively speaking, you are a clever individual and you have a sharp mind. As a prosecutor, you are highly talented and capable. Are you being ironic? Your sarcasm falls short. I am being completely sincere, and that is why I cannot understand. Take this case, for example. You're up against the PIC. There is no chance for you to come out on top. Pain does mean business. <laughs> Even a child could understand. And yet you... Heh. <laughs> Perhaps my younger self would not have done something so reckless. The me from before I had power. That's why I thought justice was on my side. Just like you right now. However, because of a certain man, my self-centered sense of justice was broken down. Ever since then, I began to see people in a different light. I'm able to serve as a prosecutor only because of the support of the people around me. People like Detective Gumshoe, and all of the other investigators. And... Kay as well. Honestly, even I'm surprised at how much I have changed. I see. Is that how it is? I've come to understand you a little more. Understand me? <laughs> Not likely. Someone like you, who forces her own sense of justice onto others, could never understand. I wonder about that. Is that what you think? If I could say one thing, it would be that this conversation has been very interesting. That is all. Our conversation is coming to an end, however. I have one last thing to tell you. The date of your hearing has been set. I came here today to inform you. Today, in the PIC meeting room, May you humbly accept your fate. If that's all you wanted to say, couldn't you have just sent a messenger? The holy words of the goddess of law simply cannot be entrusted to others. With that, Mr. Edgeworth, I bid you farewell. I shall be seeing you later again today. If she had sent Sebastian, he would have, like... <laughs> he literally would have forgotten. He would have been like, um, um... And he just has the... Or he wouldn't have forgotten, but he like would have like stopped by Arby's on the way, gotten Arby sauce over it. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, I can't really read this. I can't this. read over the, the Arby sauce packet. <laughs> Wakes it <laughs> off. <laughs> then it smudges the ink. Um, I don't know. It just leaves. Yeah, also, this, this is the worst jail cell. There's no toilet paper. <laughs> at all. They need to, somebody needs to get on that. They need to replace that. There's, uh, there's no, a bidet. There's no cover... For that bed. Also, like, what <laughs> happened to that pillow? It looks horrible. Uh, Knightley punched it a lot. He Maybe. was very upset. G good thing, though, we have the mini shower right in front of the side to the... This doesn't take place that much longer after case two, so... Good, good thing everyone can sh see you shower in <laughs> as they walk past. Oh, absolutely. April 6th, hold detention center holding cell. Is it the same guard, do you think? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I wonder if the hole's still here. <laughs> it's a simple bed. I don't expect it to be very comfortable to sleep on. <sighs> if it were Detective Gumshoe, he would probably snore loudly while sleeping like a log. Or yawn. I may never get a chance to work with him again. However, this is the path I chose. I won't regret it. Edgeworth, do you need to use the bathroom? There's a poster on the wall next to the toilet. We are currently out of toilet paper. Please be prepared if you wish to use the toilet. What does it mean by be prepared? <laughs> For the death of the keen. <laughs> There's a dining menu sitting on the desk. It seems I can get food delivered if I pay for it. <laughs> Culver's, you do take out, right? Cool. DoorDash. Uber Eats. Uber Eats, get it, get it to the jail cell. This is my cell, the cell number. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Moldy white bread lunch set. 
Switch to moldy whole wheat bread for an extra dollar. <laughs> Oatmeal and grits set meal. For a limited time, get extra gruel at no additional cost. Thank goodness I'm not hungry right now. Why did they give moldy bread? I don't know. I mustn't neglect my personal appearance just because I'm in a holding cell. Prosecutor or not, this is my personal duty. Hmm? My collar is slightly bent. There. A well-groomed appearance reflects a well-groomed mind. From here on, I'll need to focus myself more than ever. Uh... Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> There's a poster hanging in the hallway. The dice and slice game. Roll the dice and decide your daily menu. The dice and slice game has been cancelled due to the warden's arrest. We sincerely apologize to everyone who was looking forward to it. There's no need to apologize for cancelling such a silly game. Oh! Another visitor? K. Nah. It seems you're alright. I'm relieved. For now. You know, this is kinda touching. <laughs> <laughs> His sobbing sounds like a really bad cough. It's it's, so it's crocodile te tears though. <laughs> you look a little down, Kay. Please cheer up. You didn't do anything wrong. I guarantee it. Please just accept it. I'm a murderer. That's not true. Why won't you believe in yourself? You've got to believe in yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher Robin. What I feel better <laughs> already. <laughs> what should I believe in? I mean. There's nothing. There's nothing to believe in? That's not true. Before you lost your memories, you literally jumped into my life. As a result, your words and actions have become engraved in my memories. That's the mark you left behind. How can you call that nothing? I believe in your innocence. That's why you must believe in yourself as well. <laughs> and for the transitive property of belief, you do believe in yourself. <laughs> Thank you. But it's no use. Look at all the misfortune I've brought upon you. If you can, please forget it all. Your memories of Kay Faraday. That's it? Kay! You know, this takes me back. In my youth, I too was a gallant. Is this the kind of justice that the PIC seeks? You interrupted my story, Edgeworth. <laughs> hmm, justice, huh? I wonder. How much does that guy work out? Like, a lot. To abs. have a six pack okay, through his okay. shirt. Okay, he's got abs, and then he's got all this hair. He, he must stink. <laughs> he has a he bad, works out. bad BO. Like, he must have the worst BO after working out. Like, he must have, like, to be wringing out his beard. <laughs> That's why I use out. Axe Triple Strength Deodorant. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you how great it is. <laughs> this man, what is he planning? Why is he pushing things forward so forcefully? It all seems too unnatural. Is there a hidden agenda? There's no time left. It's all or nothing now. Well then, I must take my leave. Hold it! Ooh, are we going in the logic chest? <laughs> no, matter, okay. no matter how you look at it, Kay's arrest was unnatural. There must be something behind it. I got four pieces, man. This is gonna be a long one. Did we ever... Okay, this is a separate question. Did we ever learn about Kay's family besides, like... Her dad? Her dad? Nope. We don't know if she has any siblings. We don't know her mom. She has extended family, because that's who she went to live with after her, her dad died. Mom and siblings are out of the picture, then. Yep. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm a busy man, you know. I'm kind of a big deal, you see. I trust this won't take up too much of my time. Yeah. I gotta make it home so I can watch the news program. <laughs> no, he's gotta go on a smoking break. I, I didn't, never said I wasn't gonna smoke while watching TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In order to make it out of the situation, I must break through his defenses. There are plenty of things I want to ask, but my time is limited. First, I'll ask about why he rushed the arrest. I have no intention of letting him push me around. I will overcome this difficult situation. Ooh. Begin logic chess. Okay, well, you probably know what you're doing, because I don't. Uh, why did you rush the rush? Arrest the rush. Why did you rush her arrest? I would like a clear explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. You clearly did not follow the proper procedures. Okay, okay. Maybe you should pipe down a bit. Do you even know the position you're in? 
Oh. I'm a prosecutor, I'm a prisoner, wait and see. I'm a prisoner? Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. No. My, my. I wonder what you're getting so excited about. I sure can't understand the high spirits all you young folks seem to have. Try and figure out what to do with him when he does the fire thing. The lighter? Arg! That was a wasted remark. I don't know if that was supposed to be like a, I need to wait and see. Hmm. I have no intention of letting him push me around. Yeah, let's do that. So are you saying wait and see it here? Sure. I'm a prosecutor! Suppose we let the criminal escape. What do you think will happen? What will happen? I would be made to take responsibility, you see. I do hope you understand. Uh, wait and see. Right? Just take my advice and stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Is he supposed to? Oh, okay. I refuse. K is innocent. You know... This is so pitiful. It brings me to tears. Why won't you just give up? Things were finally going well. Ah. Perhaps I should Things give up. Things were going well? Things were going well, you say? That's a strange way to put it. It almost sounds as if you personally wanted Kay to be arrested. Far more than necessary. Haven't you lost your impartiality? Hmm, you think so? That certainly wasn't my intention, you see. By the way, you like how I can talk without ever opening my mouth? <laughs> Edgeworth, <laughs> my boy, you're reading too much into it. I wonder if they, like, ran out... You said earlier mm -hmm. in the Let's Play that they kind of ran out of sprites. Yeah. Characters, because, the it, like, the DS was maxed out on the cartridge. Yeah. So maybe this is where they're kind of like... Need to talk. Nobody cares. <laughs> I think he talks at some points, though. It might just be like they forgot to actually like do the right animation. Oh. For, I don't know. He skillfully avoided the issue. However, I still have some serious doubts about Kay's arrest. Next, I shall ask him if the investigation was sufficient. I can't miss even the tiniest piece of information. That's the only way to break through this situation. Um. Oh shoot! My eyes just. Uh, how, uh, how long did you investigate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Sorry. much time was spent on the investigation? Sorry, my eyes just, like, tapped out. You know, I wonder about that. I don't really remember, you see. He wasn't there. there is no way I can accept such a careless answer. Like I said, I don't remember. My memory's not as sharp as it used to be, you see. Sometimes I even forget my own son's name. I don't care about your idiot son! I want your answer regarding the investigation! <laughs> I mean, he also thinks his son's an idiot, so... Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's okay. You know, the other thing It's I... okay if he thinks his son's no, an idiot. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he really is an idiot. Even though I don't remember raising him like that. <laughs> There's no end to this. He just keeps on dodging the question. Let's try another line of attack to make him take me seriously. Um, was it under your authority? It's hard to say that the investigation was sufficient. The arrest, was it under your authority? My, my, do I really look that important? The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee Chairman. It's quite a prominent title. Not that I care much for it. Ooh. That, that was rather blunt. I'm so shocked I, I could cry. I'm sorry, flattery was never my forte. <laughs> if you keep talking like that towards me, <laughs> This is where his idiot son gets you, it from. You'll never get your prosecutor's badge back, you know. Uh-huh. That would be terrible. I don't need my badge. Wait I, and see. Uh, I guess it's wait and see? Huh? So you've grown silent. Does that mean I can go now? Aw, oh, dang it. I, have <sighs> to speak I was too passive. That's hard. Yeah, he's a tough one. He's not as hard as a lot of heart, though, because at least the time meter isn't, like, yeah. depleting. Yeah, like, like, I'm impatient! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I have no intention of letting him push me around. I will overcome this difficult situation. You know, the thing I've just been noticing... What? Um, you know, he's wearing a red jacket. Like his son? No. Or are he, you saying, like... Like, <laughs> like the per... Like, the cat... There's a jacket out. Oh, like the red raincoat, you Yeah. Think? 
Oh. It looks vaguely similar. It's not quite a raincoat. It doesn't have no. a hood. But, but you know... If that, one... That's like a motorbike jacket. A moto jacket? Yeah. A moto jacket. That's right. <laughs> Talking towards me, you'll never get your prosecutor's badge. I don't need my badge. He's not gonna let him show Let me mind. make this clear right now. I do not live for the sake of my badge. Status means nothing to me. Do you understand? Whoa. Yun. So yun. Let me teach you something as your senior in life. What you're saying right now. It's far too naive, you see. The look in his eyes has changed. He might respond differently to some of my questions now. This is my chance. Do the first one again. Okay, so How much time did you spend on the investigation? Hmm. Well, well. Aren't you an impertinent one? Even someone like me is starting to get annoyed. What a coincidence. I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Answer me. Was the investigation sufficient? Young folks always live life in the fast lane. That's why I like to bully them. Ooh, fun. You'll regret this soon enough. Burn that paper. I'm the one bullying you. How do you bully someone? No, wait and see. There would be no reason to pick those. <laughs> hmm? You sure are quiet. Are you scared? <laughs> Ridiculous. I was just thinking about my next strategy on how to extract information from a weepy old man. You should show some remorse, you know. Don't you get it? I hold your fate in my hands. He's burning all his junk mail. I don't care about fate. When did, did you get your I hands probably, on it? I don't care about fate. Haven't you realized that I have you cornered? Dang it. My, my, love this 1,000 watt smile. I use cold gate extra I, whitening toothpaste. It sounded like the perfect time to say, like, I don't... I don't. Yeah, this is a tricky one. Okay. Beardy. Hey, <laughs> Beardy. There's a part of the office where there's a guy who is referred to as Beardy. It's funny. What's that? That is Beardy. Beardy. Mm. I'm gonna introduce myself. No, no, just, that's not his real name. That's just what I call him, so. In any case, even if you obtain some information, there's nothing you can do. Just give up already. I refuse. Mind if I ask why? It's simple. The truth is fading away. That's all there is to it. Like Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> the truth is fading away. <laughs> Light, heart, light, heart, 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 that heart, sounds, heart. That sounds like a... Heart, light, heart, dark, heart, heart. Friendship darkness. Friendship no, that, darkness and bees. <laughs> that sounds like, though, like, simple and clean. When it's like, <laughs> the truth is fading away. And then, like, someone's I falling think... backwards, and they're like... Oh. They're flying into the water. And so you're just not... describing all the Kingdom Hearts <laughs> weird trippy opening scenes. And, yeah, it sounds like lyrics that would be in a tr trippy opening scene. <laughs> Okay, I see. I'm starting to understand what kind of person you are. Yeah, we're people who like Kingdom Hearts. But you know, it's all useless. It's enough to make me cry. G give it up. <laughs> that girl's guilt has already been d decided. decided. Decided? I'll never give up. That's strange. The way you said that, it almost sounds like it was decided from the very beginning. The PIC knows that somebody on the committee committed this crime. <laughs> so we're going to make sure that someone else is pinned for this. Otherwise, Payne will get mad. <laughs> Otherwise, Payne in charge, man. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Her arrest was planned. Yeah. Why wouldn't you say that? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yes, it's clearly unnatural. Everything is progressing as if Kay's guilt was predetermined. Wasn't Kay's arrest planned from the start? Uh -huh. I see. That's an interesting theory. My favorite part of this is that we are literally in a jail cell. And we're just like, wait, can we play logic chess with you? And he's like, sure. Yeah, sure, it's fine. <laughs> he could literally walk away if he wanted. Yeah. But I don't have time to indulge in your flights of fancy, you know. Why don't we put an end to this silly conversation? Curses! He's trying to get away. 
Before that, I must find out if the arrest was lawful. Ooh, we're getting the advanced logic chess music for the first time. Oh, is there going to be more of that? Probably. We're only on the fourth case, right? Yeah. It's still very faint, but I'm beginning to see the path to the truth. I can't let this opportunity slip by. I still have to ask more, you, Kay. Uh, more to ask you. Please wait. There is still something I want to ask you. I I've grown weary of our little tete-a-tete. -tete. Please keep it short, okay? Okay. Who made the decision and or what's your basis? Um, oh, uh, who made the decision? Who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? Hmm, well, I can't say I remember. Oh, really? <laughs> Growing old is a terrible thing, you see. My memory's not what it used to be, you know. He doesn't look that old. You still don't have any He's gray hair. He's 68, though. He doesn't have any gray hair. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. He said keep it short, so we kept it short. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I should try another line of All attack. right. I uh, still have more to ask. Who is the basis? Uh, what is? What is? If I put together what you have told me up until now, I cannot help but say that there is no basis for Kay's arrest. Yes, yes, I understand. I understand, you see. But, you know, it doesn't really matter either way. You can't overturn her arrest. How irresponsible! Do you still claim to be a man of the law? My, my. Those are some harsh words, you know. Hmm. You know, you're starting to make me a little angry. Uh, uh just wait and see. Right? You see, to be honest, I really can't answer all of your questions, you know. That's just the position I'm in, you see. I'm a busy man, you know. Aren't you just pretending to be busy? <laughs> That's cruel, you know. This old chunk of coal has been working like a dog. Pretending? Just what do you think that would accomplish? You don't want to talk about it, do you? Or are you trying to get my sympathy? Uh, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk about the case. Isn't that why you're trying to get away from this place? How sad! Yes, how sad indeed. Do you really suspect little old me? I do suspect you, and I'm confident about it. There was clearly no basis for Kay's arrest. My, my. Have you forgotten? Wasn't there evidence? The mask, the letter, and the corsage? All were found in the girl's possession. Not to mention she even confessed. All of this serves to prove her crime. That's... Any objections? The letter wasn't in her... Objection! Position. You bet I'll object! Objection. Haven't you realized it yet? Oh. I have you cornered. No, but I was just... She didn't have the letter. He, he was fiddling with his lighter, though. Oh... Okay. My, my, I wonder what you're so right. excited about. We have to go through a lot of this. I hate all these oh, Hungry Howie's coupons. They suck. He's burning those? <laughs> that was a waste of remark. Actually, no, he's getting coupons from Ambassador Polano. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Please take these free coupons. <laughs> Man, sorry we have to go through all this. Yeah, this is a long one. This is what I get, though, for being the one doing this. Uh, bear, 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 bear. That's cool. What are you trying to accomplish? You don't want to talk. I'm surprised he just hasn't walked off yet, to be perfectly honest. I know. <laughs> Sky, I can't help it. I just love playing logic chess. <laughs> Candle in the wind. You see? You have no response. It's true, I have no objections. Although, there is one point that bothers me. This man seems awfully familiar with the evidence. Uh -huh. To remember everything without missing a beat. That intrigues me. This could be a useful clue. Cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. What? Who made that decision? It was probably who, him. Who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? Uh, see, here's the thing. I kind of don't remember. <laughs> Maybe I should use that clue. It's a clue! <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. It's a letter from our friends. <laughs> I found this on Blue's Clues. Didn't you remember all of the evidence in full detail just now? Stop pretending to be a forgetful old man when things aren't going your way. Mm. 
Now then, who was the one who made the decision to arrest her? I see. You're a sharp one, aren't you? You know, I wish my son could learn from you. Because he's a real idiot. <laughs> I'm not interested in your son! Who made the decision for the arrest? You're a bad man, you know. Don't you already know? This is where his son got it from. The one who ordered her arrest. Obviously it was you, obviously it was Judge Courtney. Obviously it was you. The person right in front of me. I'm certain of it. Ouch. You make it sound like I committed some kind of injustice. Guess I'll have to clear that up. My honor's at stake, you see. Very well. I'll continue to play along with you. Until you are satisfied. Good thing. What is most crucial here is... How much this man knows about the case. If I can get him to reveal that... Oh, playing psychological manipulation games, eh, Edgeworth? Edgeworth's good at that. It's do or die. If I can overcome this, I'll reach the truth. I wonder what Edgeworth did his undergrad in. About K, uh, you seem... you know quite a bit. You seem pretty familiar with the case. I'm a wise man, you know. I'm familiar with most fiends, you see. I don't think it was very wise of you to arrest Kay in this case. That lighter is dangerous. Why oh, don't you say so? I'm a very busy man. I can end this conversation anytime I want, you know. Don't you forget about that. This would have already been over if you had simply answered my questions. If you give me a proper answer, I won't take any more of your time. I will ask you once again, why are you so familiar with this case? I read the case files, you see. Honestly, it was quite a drag, you know. But it's my job, so what could I do? <laughs> because of my position, you see. I can't just skip out on it. <laughs> Well, I had some time to kill, so I read the whole thing, you see. You just, just said, said you, you were, were busy. busy. That's strange. Didn't you just say you were very busy? Aren't your faults slowly coming to light now? If you truly wish to protect your position, I would advise you to rescind the arrest order. Y you really are desperate, you know. That never say die attitude, it touches my heart. <laughs> but you know, it's unfortunate that all your hard work was for naught. <gasps> because we discovered her unconscious body near the crime scene, you see. You found her unconscious? What was the weather like at that time? <laughs> you found her unconscious? This is the first time I've heard of Kay's condition when she was found. She was unconscious in the storeroom. That's right. The source of that information is classified, though. I don't think he realized that he, they found her in the storeroom. <laughs> this man knows things even I don't know. Does he know the whole story behind this case? This could be a useful clue. About K. The suspect, regarding K. How much do you know about her? She's the suspect in this case. That's all I know, you see. Scout's honor. Perhaps I should use that clue. You were never in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> that would've been funny. Something you've said feels out of place. You know about things that the crime scene investigation never revealed. Why is that? Just how much of the truth do you know? Ha ha ha! You're making that forceful face again. You know, it kind of makes me want to do the same. Like this. You could never copy. You could never copy me. You ain't Kirby. Ooh, copy. Ooh. You really are a persistent one, you know. But I can admire that, you see. If Kirby inhaled Beardy, what <laughs> would Kirby turn into? A beard? He would get a beard and he'd be able to use a lighter, for sure. <laughs> he could just smoke. That's all good. Kirby, you know how, like, the mic, it's like... Yeah. He can do a mic, it's just like he smokes and everything dies. <laughs> including Oops, Very slowly. Like, like, both... Like, the creatures on screen and the trees. Yeah. And everything. I will take that as a compliment. Can't you give it a rest already? At my age, my body's not as strong as it once was, you know? There is no one else who could be the c culprit besides her. 
<laughs> she was even given that much evidence to show that she committed the crime. What? She was given, given evidence? evidence? That's stupid. She was given evidence, you say? That's an odd choice of words. It almost sounds as if she did not possess them under her own will. I see. You really do have a fine eye for the details, as expected of a former prodigy prosecutor. You've already found your answer, haven't you? I'm listening, so go ahead and say it. There's no need to hold back. I have finally wrenched open the heavy door to the truth. Now, all that remains is to strike the final blow. K is not the culprit. We could have done this for a while, but like it would always penalize us until now. Oh. K is not the culprit. My, my, that's a rather bold claim, you know. Anyone can shout objections at the top of their ones, you see, Mr. Former Prodigy Prosecutor. I shall break through this with that clue. Kay was framed. The true culprit is pinning the blame on her. That is my answer. Ooh, his beard's on fire. <laughs> Luckily, his tears put it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yes, you're a clever one. It almost makes me feel bad that your prosecutor's badge was taken away, you know. Yes, it's as you say. Checkmate. I'm, I'm so glad you stopped Logic by- Logic chest complete. I'm so glad you stopped by my cell, Beauty. <laughs> like, he didn't- he wasn't there with Kay, clearly like- No, he guard, was escorting Kay to the- But the guard was there. The guard was- the her. guard was in the prison, or the detention facility. I think he was the one who was braining her. Oh, because I was like, why else would he be talking to her? <laughs> I love how you just call him Beardy, not like Blaze. No, I don't remember his name, Beardy. Blaze the best. He's the best and he has a lighter that blazes. Beardy. <laughs> Be All right, Beardy. You arrested Kay even when you knew the existence of the true culprit. Don't toy with me. There is no way such an act would be tolerated. You sure are green, you know. That's what a prosecutor is supposed to do. It will all work out fine if we make her guilty. Who would desire such a resolution? If I had to say, maybe the PIC... And also, maybe me, you know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of was like, it's probably him. When I heard your words just now, I could barely hold back my tears, you know. It was just so splendid, you see. And it burns me up inside. I'm not the most perfect piece of work, you know. So I can't forgive such useful usefulness. Usefulness? <laughs> you say the truth is important, but you know... Once you know the real value the truth holds, I wonder if you can still say the same thing. What are you trying to say? When you get to where I am, you can just create your own truths. Anytime you want. <sighs> Kay Faraday is the culprit. That was a truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. It <sighs> probably is the reason that she has no memories. He probably was like, ooh, let's hit her on the head a bunch of times, that'll be good. Good, very good. That face. That expression. You were such a desperate one, you see. That's why I really wanted to bully you, you know. You see, even if you know the truth, there is simply nothing you can do. And that's the real value of truth. So shocking that it's to die for, you know. Why won't you pursue the true culprit? How much of the truth do you know? Who cares? <laughs> YouTube comment alert. Do you understand now? The truth that you believe in is worthless, you see. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Powerless, former prosecutor. You. Ooh, scary, scary. You know, I guess the friends of a heinous criminal are also quite heinous themselves. Blaze, you! And like this, you see, one more person will disappear before me. Ah, uh, here come the waterworks. These tears of mine just won't stop, you know. See ya. Now I really wish they had toilet paper in that stall. <laughs> so we could throw it at him? <laughs> <laughs> It's like when somebody, like, eggs and TPs a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just TP Beardy. 
Everything will be decided in today's deliberation. Kay's innocence. I will definitely prove it. The truth shall be revealed. Oh, I thought... Okay, well, this is where but, we're ending the video. But, but, why is Sebastian randomly here? And why is why Lana randomly here? here? Lana's like, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. He, guys, it's time to meet our favorite um, PIC members. Why does Blaze have, like, a throne? He does have a throne. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, With spoons next to it. Here's uh, Miyamoto. Here's a uh, gray-haired struggle ring man. Here's, um... Uh, struggle ring? Struggle, yeah, the struggle ring. You know how, like, when guys, like, lose their hair and they have, like, the struggle ring of hair? Oh, my to God. To keep their I, hair? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I thought you were talking about the fat guy from the struggle ring in Kingdom <laughs> no, Hearts 2. No. no, I don't know if that's <laughs> what it's actually called. You're on the top of your bracket now. <laughs> also, we have, um, what's, who's the guy that wrote Common Sense? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine, he's here. Um, <laughs> and Winston. Bear. And one of the rejects from Organization 13. She's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, well, maybe we'll get to meet them all next time on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Thanks for watching, everyone. Who could have thought that Chain Smoker Blaze was the villain? Me. I was like, I Litter saw him like. Oh. That, okay, the reveal that he's like. Evil. It came as a surprise to absolutely Ain't nobody, nobody. <laughs> who played the game. It tears me up. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.